everybody. Welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this video, we notice that we have a new stranger to meet. On our way to meet that first stranger, we do run into another new stranger as well. So we meet two new strangers in this video. After both encounters, we head back to St. Denis. Quite a few videos ago, we did meet a sister. So we do meet her and give her a hand as well. Last half of this video is pretty crazy. We head back to camp and talk to Dutch and then to Charles. And we decide that we need to move camp right away. Earlier in this video, we did run into the Brood Gang, and they hide out in a cave out in the middle of nowhere, and we decide that's where we want to go and move our camp to. So we have to go and get rid of those guys and get them out of the cave. Another crazy ending to the video. This is actually the end of Chapter 5, so I hope you'll check it out, guys. Remember, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. If you're new here, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into Part 36. Alright guys, back with another video. Got me out in the swamps by our new camp, I'm guessing. No, just out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, now I know we scoped out the prison where John was being kept. It's not going to be there. Is that a new stranger? Stranger way up there. You know what? We haven't been up there. Before we go and talk to Dutch... Let's go see what this is. This just popped up. I'm behind the rock over here, Bighorn. Yeah, that's better, girl. And we could rest because our dead eye everything's pretty low even our horse so let's go ahead and make a camp let's rest till the morning get a fresh new day nice fire what do we got here mind if I warm my bones Whoa. Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. And we don't protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on. Let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'm going to sleep here anyways. That was weird. I was like stuck in the animation. It wouldn't let me pull a weapon, wouldn't let me do anything. I guess that was kind of like a cinematic view or whatever. That was crazy. Oh, I can fast travel from my tent? No way. I did not know that. The Murphy Brood Brud, are believed to have immigrated to America in the 1700s where they lived comfortably. The industrialization of the area drove the family to live a secluded life in the hills. Now the family resides in a cave in Beaver Hollow, only venturing out to, be, to the surrounding areas for hunting and scavenging. This kind of reminds me of that movie, uh, The Hills Have Eyes. Probably a bunch of inbreds. Interesting, interesting. All right, we're all rested. We got here another stranger. Yeah, we got another stranger. Is this guy going crazy? Was he bit or something? Yeah. 
You Help. okay? Help. You, you Help. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. Yeah, you're not well, friend. Uh, Butch is crit. Butch is crit. Uh, where? Uh, Butch is crit. Is that where you're from? Butch is crit. You want me to take you back, or? There ain't uh, me. Uh, come on, let me get you home. This guy's lost his marbles. Oh, Butcher's Crit. Yeah. How far we gotta go? Nice, it's on the way. Guy eat some peyote or something. Damn. God, it always is. I don't think I've ever been up this way. This way before? There's people living here. Oh, this is where he lives. Howdy. Ass what? Oh, this place is lovely. Happy people here. Ah, Le Mule! <laughs> you found Le Mule! Oh, come, come, come here! Yeah, he was in some distress. <laughs> yeah, he uh. seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, Le Mule. Sweet Lemuel, such a nurse man, such a good man. Come here, come on, come on. Get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he's just, he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for Lem. Good Lord. Please, please, uh, 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 them you are not well. Uh, uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Interesting. Collapsed sick man is returned to Butcher Creek and more is revealed about the village. This will continue at a later time. Woo! Y'all look a little lost. Probably him. My brothers might be able to help you. I got the horse. This is Murphy Hills, mister. Folks get lost up in these parts, they don't come back. You get my meaning? Real subtle. I think I'll read you. 
Let go of the horse. Let go! Damn, they're everywhere. He's always gonna be on his way, and he ain't coming back. I don't think so, guys. Think so, fellas. You're okay, girl. This guy probably ain't got shit on him either. <laughs> that wasn't part of the Brood Gang or whatever. Gonna have any money or anything on them? I'm not gonna go through them. I don't think that was the brute game that I was heading towards. Damn, that is a big fu holy shit! of that thing. Whew. Legendary fish location. All right. Oh, no. You're not going to let me skin it here? I have not killed a moose yet. Ah, that's poor. We can drop it. Okay, we are near the stranger and a set of legendary fish location. Might be where the stranger is. Actually, he's going to be right over here. city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cap. I'll leave you to it. Anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any, 
poisonous berries, though. I'm a natural at finding them. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. But you better not try any funny business. Yeah, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Good lord, how long is this storm gonna last? Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? The bear got me. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream to be alive. I'd have popped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. Yes. A good spot? What are we looking for? Well... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I don't see anything. Those are plants. That was a plan at first. Got it. Oh, good job. Okay then, go on. Now to get your hands dirty. How do I? I mean, what do I do? Just hold the legs tight. Hold the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Oh, please. 
I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. Lord, come on. <laughs> so, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? Yeah, I've passed through a couple of times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. Oh, right. You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. Take care, man. I need to Frickin' get out of this weather. There we go. No oh, fire can go through anything. Well, let's sleep till morning. Hopefully this weather will clear up. Good. Alright, we need to go talk to Dutch. Let's use the fast travel from the fence. I haven't done that yet. Um, we'll just go to St. Denis because I need to get some gun oil too. Can't believe I didn't know I could fast travel from my tent. Gunsmith, gunsmith, gunsmith. Fine morning, partner. It is a fine morning. Another stranger? Good lord. On the other side of this fence over here. Hi, folks. Good morning, mister. Good morning to you, mister. 
Mr. Morgan. Oh, it's the sister. Hello, sister. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh. What fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Donate some food. to bring me, Mr. Morgan. I have four very hungry mouths to feed. Some? Well, not enough for four, I don't reckon. Please try to get some more. These children are desperate for a good meal. Come bless you again for trying. Like I said, actions lead and the heart follows. I'm trying to get the prop to go again. There we go. You know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. <laughs> Do I have to donate money in for it? There we go. Sir, Come on. Good deed done for the day. Ma I won't subject you to any more benevolence. My pleasure, sister. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. All right, we got all my weapons clean. I used all that gun oil. Let's go ahead and go buy some more real quick while we're here, and we will go talk to Dutch. Glad to see you back, sir. Watch yourself. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, he just robbed me. Son of a bitch. Hey, you. I think that boy is dead. Ah! Follow me, Bighorn. I think you have me mistaken, sir. What do you mean? You don't have to tell me. Stop chasing me. I ain't having a hey, good one. Look out. Get rid of mine. <laughs> Quicker. Get a move on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Damn fool. Go. I'll take what you got, bud. Yeah. And he had 200 bucks on him. Probably stole that from other people, too. Alright, heck. Let's just go talk to Dutch. Alright, 
right, let's see what Dutch wants. Oh. Hey, Arthur. All right, the game crashed on me. Make sure I'm even recording. I am. Game crashed on me. Crashed twice yesterday, too. I don't know what's going on. What? Anyways. You okay there? Four. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well... I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got a... I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Interesting. Charles, be right with me. Always. Charles is a good man. Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. Hell yeah. This is what it's come to, huh, Mary Beth? What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. Not now, Bill. Uh. Charles. I know the way. Follow me. Come on, the girl. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Sam Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? 
I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. I really liked Hosea. I was pretty shocked when I saw him get killed. further do we got? It's gonna be like our fourth camp or something like that. There's the bridge. Ooh, horse bonding maximum. All right. Here we are. Man, we got more rain. Time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rain's fall and eagle flies. Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. Well, so be it. You see that up ahead? Slow down. Keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me and stay quiet. Let's get closer to them. Come on. Up this way. Then again, when I did go to the cave, there was no one there. So maybe those people I killed earlier before that, maybe that wasn't them. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Carry the body for a bit, huh? Why do I always gotta do the carry? Because I do what the are you waiting skinning. for? Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the carrying? Here is dog God split. Damn it. I'll keep I'm out of I can tell you was a coward. That's close. Let's go, Arthur. 
Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Alright, we got a machete. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. Guys are some sick fuckers. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What'd you think? We're gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Hmm. Dynamite be safer. Quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. to redo this. These guys come running fast with machetes and they'll kill you in one hit. So I gotta play this smarter. Somebody. Shit, this guy's still alive? Good God! No, no, no! Charles, see him all? Not for now! Come on, let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Help! We ain't gonna hurt you. Don't touch me! <laughs> Just calm down. Please don't kill me. It's okay, miss. Okay. Shh. You're 
safe. It's okay. Come on. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? We take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, they, they did, um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Pick up the pace a little bit. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy brood guys. Oh my god. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that that's okay, ma'am. You just Keep her warm and keep her safe. Oh, we did a lot of good deeds today. This is death. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Shut up. Looks like we got our new camp.
How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denise. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I honored him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on oh, me! You you're betrayed not so big now, me! Why? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. Oh, you know the rules. You are not so big now. No, Hurry, no. Hurry, Your Majesty! You. Take <laughs> her! She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, we're already in chapter six. Beaver Hollow. Tuberculosis. No traitors, Chapter 5. Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your... Man. This game's getting insane. Alright, so I can do my closing not to listen to them scream. We're going to end the video here. That is the end of chapter 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll start chapter 6 in the next video. Hope to see you there.